Hello, that's right. I got that totally wrong. This is what I'm using for the fascia. It's rough sawn board, 25 mil by 180. We've routed out a six mil channel all the way down. And that's to take the soffit, which is a concrete fireboard kind of thing. Um, we've done two already and then the rest are in there because we just painted them but I thought that these were 4.8 meters they're only four and a half meters which is a bit of a pain so we need we haven't got enough to do the front section now we don't want to use the wet ones in there so I'm just going to leave a little bit off the end and I'll do that later so I'm just going to butt, butt joint the ends because uh, I'm having the same going up the gable ends as well for like a barge board and we're cutting them so they're going to sit halfway across the rafters because we can. Um, you don't necessarily need to do that, but that's just what we're doing today. Okay, so my eave tile is going on here like this. My next tile will go up like that. So that means I've got a roughly, it's about a five mil overhang. And then that tile is going to go on there. All of this needs to be kicked up and I did calculate it before where I was going to have that vent strip underneath if you've seen the last episode or anything. But I've been looking at the U-Valleys because I'm ordering my um, insulation soon and if you have a ventilated roof it drops the U-Valley which means you need thicker insulation which is obviously more expensive. So I'm going to avoid that now with the breather felt membrane you don't actually need it vented anyway so we'll do away with that. I'm going to pack out this to whatever I need to so it's not vented and it will lift the ends of the tiles up properly. Right, so that's the crap, that's how that's going and this 19 mil batten, if I put another one on there like that, then that kicks the tiles up correctly there so they sit right. This this works out good and then I've just done a little test run with a little bit of concrete board just here to see whether the soffit's going to fit in so we're just going to pack out the ends of the rafters here and then this slides in afterwards so I need to cut it out of this correct board face run all the way we use the wet bit at the end there's a couple of screws in that so we can lever it off if we need to get the soffit in because there's a tire i've cut the under cloaking on this side i'm gonna go and cut the soffit now dan's gonna put this last batten in and then pack the batten underneath got my little works circular saw skill saw these are decent you get a little one leaves So I'm going to put the guide on, I need to cut this board. You can score it and then snap it, but I'm going to put the diamond blade on and then uh, we'll just run it down. It'll be easier. It's too much effort really. I might just get it cut like I used to have it and then just let it grow over the next year again. Get my hair cut once a year. You've got to go through that annoying stage. Yeah, but it doesn't really bother me. No, you don't you used to wear a hat all the time anyway, but yeah. that will uh, speed up the balding. Yeah. Well, I think having long hair will as well. Anyway. Yeah, Tony's had his cut now, hasn't he? Yeah. Try it again. Will it go through? I don't know. Probably. You can't twist it, Dan. What do you mean I can't twist it? <laughs> it now won't fit. Now put it in and then push. Ooh. Right, let me get a fucking ladder instead of that stupid fucking yeah, step. Alright, let's just loosen them and just slot it in. And then do it back up. I'm not, I don't even think you need to loosen them. Right, you pull this out, that needs to slot in there. Push it up. Right, that's 
Well, hang on. Is it in? Is it in the groove all the way along? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. It's up. All right. Oh no, that's right. It's up. Ah, oh, you fucker. What? Uh, there's an oak peg there. That's not going to work, is it? You see, we're in the line. It's not. Oh, we're on. We're sorted. This is about three hours later. <laughs> it just—it was just a nightmare. We had to take it off again and put it back on. I'll quick show you. There we go. Sorted. So now, plan of action is we're gonna get some eaves tiles on, and then maybe the next row. Uh, it's just from memory, you now all of the um, eaves tiles and the next row up, and then you can go now every fourth or fifth row, I think it is. Or if your name's Tim, you just screw every single bloody tile. <laughs> Booked in for a haircut. You get it locked off next week. Uh, so after Dan went last night, I carried on tiling just to see what was going to happen, basically, because I've got a couple of things to work out. And um, I know what these are going to come back off. Well, not all of them, but the ones above, because you need to obviously load up the tiles, and then. I'm guessing probably the best thing to do is work from that edge and come across that way. I'm sure you understand, I've not really done this before. I've done it once, kind of, but they was redland interlocking concrete tiles and it was easier and we was recreating exactly what we'd taken off and matching next doors and all that. So I'm, I'm working this out from fresh. It's not really too much in terms of videos like exactly how to do it on YouTube or anything. I'm not gonna do a how-to video because I'm just working it out. Um, I made a mistake last time when I got the nails. I forgot that there's a little bit of a kick in the tiles. So this time I've got 25 mil battens and then the thickness of these tiles are about 10. So I thought, right, I'll get 30 mil um, nails and then it'll be fine. 30 mil isn't long enough because by the time you account for the one or two mil above the tile, the four mil kick, and then you're only really getting into the baton probably about 13 mil or something, which isn't really that good. So I've got the right nails now, I'll quickly show you. So that's the kick I'm talking about, just here. And obviously the holes are up here. Now, if you bang now in, it needs to be about a few mil extra so these are 38 mil now these are the right nails to use now i've done a little bit of a video on under cloaking and how to do it because i looked up how to do it just quickly and uh, i couldn't find anything on youtube i could only find uh, a blog so i basically done what he said in the blog and i've put it into a video format so i'm not going to take proper credit for it but i worked out these tiles were because they was 165 millimeters wide, I then done my undercloaking so the tires would fit exactly without any cutting. But I got that totally wrong because these tires, they're not all 165 mil. And I totally forgot that you're supposed to have a little bit of a gap between them as well. Or you can have a gap up to three mil between them. So the tires finish wrong at either end. They go over the undercloaking. So that's how far they go past about 30 mil and it's the same the other end now me and Dan had a bit of a debate about it last night about what to do he wanted to butt all of the tiles up to together and then go from that end and work all the way across and then cut this side I didn't want to do that I wanted to basically keep it symmetrical if you like um, because I'm a bit of a perfectionist and sometimes that, that means that things take longer but 
I'm happy with it. <laughs> so I went on a little bit of a rabbit hole last night, figuring out, trying to figure out what to do. And just by chance, I clicked on uh, one of Rodian Build's videos when he was doing his roofing. Everyone ripped it out of him like you wouldn't believe. But I mean, if you're a roofer and you want to come and do it for free, by all means, like contact me. But I mean, you're not going to know how to do everything, are you? Like obviously these roofers, they, they've been doing it for years or someone that's had years of experience of showing them what to do. Whereas I, I'm just like learning it off the cuff. But reading one of the comments down below on one of his videos, someone said you shouldn't cut the verge tiles. You should cut the tiles like inside the roof. Um, so obviously instead of right at the end, you cut wherever you need to. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get my tile cutter out and I'm gonna go, see, we don't wanna cut these ones at all. Um, so I'm gonna go one tile in and I'm gonna cut 30 mil off this one. Uh, yeah, 30 mil off that one, 30 mil off this one, 30 mil off that one, 30 mil off this one. And then all of this will shift in, so it's correct. I'll do it on this side, I'll do it on that side, and it should look nicer and I'll be happy with it. So if you've got a better idea, then uh, jump in your time machine, come come to now and uh, tell me how to do it a better way. But I think that'll work. I know it's a little bit more work, but I'd rather do it that way, because I don't want to take 60 mil off one tile. That would just look stupid, wouldn't it? So 30 mil off either side, that that look fine. I think I'll get away with it. Ignore that I've cut too much off, um, so there's big gaps here. I did set, I, I said 30 mil earlier, didn't I? And then I set the cutter at 35, so for some reason I just thought I needed more. But um, I think that looks all right. And then, so if I cut these ones, then by the time we get to the other side, I'll have a similar cut over there, and then everything looks like, well, you won't even notice this. No one will ever know. That I've took all this time to do this. So that is the uh, action plan, I reckon. So I'm going to do them. I'll recut them, so that that's right. And then um, I'm going to take these tiles off and stack them up there. I've got a little bit of an issue with that because I know how you normally stack tiles up a roof. But these tiles, they're so sharp on the corners. Like I've got a slice in my finger from yesterday. And because they're cambered, if you set them on the bands, like you normally would, like I'll show you. Right, that's how you normally do it, right? But the felt, obviously it's touching the tiles and like a little tiny bit of wind today. I'm, I'm not really confident that that's not gonna get holes in. Now I'm sure any roofer, any tradesman wouldn't care. They wouldn't care if they got holes in this anyway. But I'd, I'd, I'm not sure on it. But if you look over here, this is just where this wind's been flapping on this tile. But look how Muller days. So I know I. That's how you should stack them, but I don't. I don't really want to, I don't want to risk getting holes in the felt. So the only other way that I can think is to just lay them the other way, like that. So all the nibs like keep, keep them up. Well, it's probably not the most efficient way, but it's less risky. If you can channel into the past, give me inspiration. I don't know else how to do it. Am I just being like too picky about, should I just not care about holes in the felt? Potentially, it might not happen. It might happen. Hmm. 
Right, I've got the microphone on my hat because I'm going naked today. I'm going to be the naked roofer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm proper like pasty, so I need to get a tan, and this is the only way it's going to happen, isn't it? Anyway, uh, Dan was supposed to be here. He's not. It's probably about half ten, eleven, and I, I reckon he's probably still asleep. I've restacked these tiles up in the corner. I've cut about 20 up here as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go for it by myself, basically. Um, I worked out if I was to lay four tiles every minute, then I might be able to get it done in a day. But I don't think I'll be able to do it four tiles a minute because I've got to get these up up there so I could probably lay them but I can't get them up there as well so obviously it's just, just a one man band today um, I'll try and get half done let's try and get half done um, yeah I'm gonna whack you on a time lapse time lapse and then you can watch a ghost hover over my roof and get it all done <laughs>
Don't worry, I've got my t-shirt back on now. <laughs> so I start, it was about quarter cool, past seven, I start, so I've already had a beer, had a bit of a rest. Um, that's how much I got done. It's a bit difficult around the V-Luxes, um, especially if you don't put the, obviously all of the battens in and then I had to pop it up, I'll quickly show you. Can you see out there? Let's put that in. So yeah, looks nice, doesn't it? So that's about 700 tiles, I think it is. Um, there's about 2,000 each side that I need to do, roughly. Um, saying that, I'm having the solar panels in roof on the other side, so um, I don't need to put loads of tiles in the middle, which is quite good. It's quite rapid once you load it out and you just go in. If you didn't have, obviously, cutouts for your V-Luxes, that would be quite easy. I think I've done an alright job, considering I've never done it before. Anyway, I think I'm going to leave it there. If you haven't already, give us a thumbs up. Share it with your mates or something. Like I need to obviously get more subscribers and everything. See if I can monetize it. Realistically, what well, I'd, I'd like to get sponsorships and everything, and then get like free materials or anything like that. But I can't do that if I haven't got enough subscribers and stuff. So I mean, not do us a favour. Anyway. If you haven't done so already, please do subscribe, hit the bell notification. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later.